today i am going to discuss about poverty and this is one of the basic economic problems the biggest obstacle for developing world that is poverty so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management at the end of this video you will be able to understand meaning of poverty definition of poverty concept of poverty by diagram types of poverty and at last poverty line so let's start with the meaning of poverty and from the figure you can understand the effect of the poverty poverty refers to the condition of not having basic human needs such as clean water nutrition health care clothing and shelter so very simple poverty means lack of basic human needs poverty is the condition of having fewer resources or less income than others within a society or country or compared to worldwide averages it indicates a condition in which a person fails to maintain a living standard adequate for a comfortable lifestyle so in short we can say due to the poverty person fails to maintain a comfortable lifestyle now the definition of poverty by un means united nations fundamentally poverty is a denial of choices and opportunities a violation of human dignity it means lack of basic capacity to participate effectively in society it means not having enough to feed and clothe a family not having a school or clinic to go not having the land on which to grow one's food or a job to earn one's living not having access to credit it means insecurity powerlessness and exclusion of individuals household and communities it means susceptibility to violence and it often implies living on marginal or fragile environments without access to clean water or sanitation so this is actually the definition of poverty by un so here the definition is a little bit lengthy more images of poverty so here you can say due to the poverty there is a lack of food availability there is a lack of cloth availability and there is a lack of shelter availability so very simple in hindi we can say roti kapda aur makan now concept of poverty by diagram so first of all due to the poverty there is a lack of education and due to the poverty there is number of diseases and due to the poverty fewer job opportunities are there and due to the fewer job opportunities poverty will be arise so this is vice versa that means two way due to the poverty hunger will be there and due to the lack of education people can't work in the industry or in the society due to the number of diseases also the people can't work due to the hunger people can't work at last due to this there will be the poverty and due to the poverty people can't work so i think you can understand the concept of the poverty and the effects by this diagram now types of poverty 
poverty is generally of two types absolute poverty and relative poverty now let's start with the absolute poverty it means a condition characterized by severe deprivation of basic human needs means severe lack of basic human needs including food safe drinking water sanitation facilities health shelter education and information it depends not only on income but on access to social services so this is the definition or the concept of absolute poverty by united nations in 1995 absolute poverty occurs when people cannot obtain adequate resources that means enough resources measured in terms of calories to support a minimum level of physical health so it is a very simple concept of absolute poverty next for the measures to be absolute the line must be the same in different countries cultures and technological level in 2015 the world bank defines extreme poverty as living on less than 1.90 us dollar per day with the help of this diagram you can understand the poverty line this is the world bank global poverty line threshold in daily income per person so here you can see in 1990 1 is the threshold for the poverty line so if the income below 1 per day then it is called as the poverty similarly in 2001 the poverty line 1.08 dollar per day similarly in 2008 1.25 us dollar per day and in 2015 1.90 dollar per day so this is the poverty threshold per day now the second term relative poverty relative poverty refers to individuals or groups lack of resources when compared with that of other members of the society so it is actually the relative comparison with your neighbors or other members of the society and this definition is by oxford dictionary of sociology in 1994 relative poverty is a condition in which people lack the minimum amount of income needed in order to maintain the average standard of living in the society in which they live this is defined relative to the members of a society and therefore differs across countries so absolute poverty is the common in all around the world whereas relative poverty will be differs across country and with the help of this you can compare the poverty line per day across different countries so this is the national poverty lines comparison here you can see in india it is 0.5 dollar per day in 2017 year similarly in argentina it is 11.81 dollar per day and in china it is 1 dollar in united state it is 14 dollar so from this you can understand in united state 14 dollar per day is the threshold for the poverty whereas in india it is 0.5 dollar per day so the current poverty line is 1059.42 indian rupees per month in rural areas and 1286 indian rupees per month in urban areas in year 2020 so this is the latest data 
and this one is the comparative data in 2017 for India and Argentina and if you compare China and Nigeria in 2011 then one dollar for china whereas in nigeria it is 0.4 dollar now next terminology that will be the last one for this video poverty line a poverty line also called a poverty threshold is a line below which it is difficult to afford basic needs such as food and shelter the poverty line is determined in each country by adding up the cost of meeting minimum needs such as food and shelter. Household incomes that are too low to afford minimum needs such as food and shelter are below the poverty line. The income necessary to afford meeting minimum needs typically sets the poverty line for a country. Poverty lines can then be compared between countries. The international poverty line is a standard poverty line for measuring poverty globally. Poverty lines are not the same in all countries. In higher income countries, the cost of living is higher and so the poverty line is higher too. The international poverty line currently set at $1.90 per day is the universal standard for measuring global poverty. So this is the international poverty line. If you want to see more videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.